With the World Cup now well and truly behind us, it's time to cast our mind to different things. To be more specific, the January transfer window. Every club has a couple of players the fans think should leave in this window, and today we're going to look at 10 of them. Without further ado, here are 10 players your club needs to sell in January. Number 1. Yuri Tielemans Tielemans has been a key player for the Foxes for many years now, and they've been holding out hope that he will sign a new contract for some time. His current one is set to end in the summer. The Belgian though is currently 25 and doesn't seem set on staying at Leicester for the foreseeable future given that clubs like Arsenal are after his signature. Due to the financial and on the field problems Leicester have experienced this season, him leaving on a free would be the worst case scenario. Given that Leicester paid upward of 30 million euros for him, it might be time to look for a buyer so as to recoup some of that cash and maybe find another diamond in the rough. Number 2. Christian Pulisic He's been a player that Chelsea have been looking to move on for a while now and he may have just helped that process along. The main player for the USA at the World Cup, Pulisic showed his class once again with some stellar performances that have no doubt caught the eye of big European clubs. There are reports that multiple clubs including Manchester United and Newcastle have the American on their radar going into January. This is something Chelsea will love as with just 18 months left on his contract, the time to sell him is now. Injuries have played a key role in his time at Chelsea and because of this, they see it as wise to cash in on him as soon as possible. Number 3. João Felix Atletico splashed out over 100 million euros for the former Benfica winger in the summer of 2019 but he has struggled to live up to his lofty price tag since then. His time at the club seems to be coming to an end as his relationship with Simeone has reportedly completely broken down. Often on the bench nowadays, the 23-year-old is very unhappy in Madrid and wants to leave as soon as possible. This is something he has in common with his manager who has also given the green light for him to go. One hindrance though could be the fee required to pry him away from Madrid. Given how much Atleti paid for him, it could cost well over 80 million euros just to have a chance, a figure very few clubs can afford. Number 4. Hakim Ziyech Another Chelsea player who has failed to fully find his place in the squad these days. Before the World Cup, Ziyech was completely out of favour for the Blues and went into the tournament as one of the most out of form players in the world. Talk about a complete 180 as the Moroccan completely shined for his country, being one of the best players at the tournament and helping lead them to the semi-final. AC Milan have long been interested even before his impressive run of form but now they seem ready to make an official bid to try and land the Chelsea winger. Given his performances though, it's too early to rule out another big club coming in for him. Number 5. Jack Grealish This one may come as a surprise but if we're being honest, we're all thinking it. Grealish has completely failed to fit in, much less make an impact of any kind at City and it may be in their best interest to offload him as soon as possible. Completely relegated to a spot on the bench with the emergence of Foden, he seems a shell of the player he once was at Villa. Furthermore. Given the rise of Julian Alvarez who can also play in his position, he may soon find himself as the third choice left winger at the club. The £100 million man should also see the advantage of this as at 27 he doesn't have that many years left at the top. It seems unlikely that this one will happen now but it's only a matter of time before reports surface saying City would like to sell him. Number 6. Adrian Rabiot when reports linked Rabiot to Manchester United in the summer, there was outrage among fans given his demanding mother and lacklustre performances for Juve. But a few months on and the Frenchman has been one of the better midfielders in Europe, even showing his class for France at the recent World Cup. At just 27, his contract at Juve expires in the summer and it seems unlikely that he'll be looking to extend it. Reports are linking him to the Premier League with Manchester United and to La Liga with Barcelona and Atletico. The man himself may have already given his opinion on the matter during the World Cup when he said, I have always said that I'd like to play in England in my career. I still have that desire. I'd like to evolve in the Premier League. It is reported that it would cost as little as 15 million euros to acquire his services in January, which leaves the race wide open. Number 7. Marco Asensio Asensio leaving in January shouldn't come as a massive surprise to anyone because at the moment he's not expected to extend his current deal with Real Madrid which ends in the summer. 
That means he will soon become a free agent, meaning January could very well be Real Madrid's last chance to get a transfer fee out of the Spaniards' departure. Having fallen completely out of favour at the Bernabeu, it seems he already has one foot out the door with clubs like Newcastle and Liverpool watching keenly. Given how little they could buy him for, this may end up being a very good deal for those involved in January. Number 8. Memphis Depay There was talk of terminating Depay's contract in the summer as Barcelona didn't want him at the club anymore. A few months later, and his state at the club still remains the same despite being one of the key players for the Dutch at the World Cup. With the presence of a myriad of forwards such as Dembele, Rafinha, Lewandowski and even Ansu Fati, he has fallen way down the pecking order. The World Cup was his perfect chance to showcase his abilities and that's exactly what he did. At 28, he is still a player at the top of his powers and the Premier League seems to be the next step in his journey. Clubs like Newcastle and Tottenham have been heavily linked to him and given Barcelona's financial desperation, signing him could cost as little as 10 million euros. One thing is for certain though, it seems unlikely Depay remains a Barcelona player past January. Number 9. Aaron Wambisaka Having fallen completely out of favour with new manager Ten Hag, there seems to be no way back for Wambisaka at Man United. The club already began looking for exit strategies for him in the summer, but none seemed to be available at the time. Now given the emergence of Dallo and Ten Hag's need for another right back, the time seems to be right for the Englishman to leave. Three clubs have been at the forefront of the chase, West Ham, Wolves and Crystal Palace. West Ham seem to be looking for a loan but given United want an outright sale, they may need to reconsider or risk missing out. Seeing as United's purchase of another right back could also depend on this sale, it would be shocking if wan remains at Old Trafford for much longer. Number 10. Arthur Mello This one may not totally qualify for this list but we decided to put it on here anyway. To say this panic buy hasn't worked out would be the understatement of the century as Arthur got injured almost immediately and is still not back to full fitness. As such, Liverpool have struggled throughout the season and find themselves in 6th place in the league. Given his poor performances for Juventus, we find it hard to believe that Arthur would have helped much. The lone move has clearly not worked and the Reds may be making a mistake keeping him for another 6 months. If you ask us, we think they should end the loan in January and send him back to Italy so that they can focus on more long-term solutions. There you have it, 10 players that your club needs to sell in January. Please let us know what you think of the video and tell us about more players relating to this topic in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on any new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.